So hello guys, it's James. I thought I would end up get, uh, giving this go, which I have, um, but I'm basically going to do an unboxing of the HP Pavilion 15.6 uh, inch laptop. Uh, it's got a terabyte of hard drive space, 8 gigs of RAM, and a A10 processor, which is a dual core. 2.4 normal and 2.8 gigahertz with its turbo boost on so I'm gonna jump straight into getting this thing out of the box because I'm really 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 excited to see what it looks like um, so yeah here we go right so first of all I've got this cutlass knife I don't know where it's supposed to be this bent but anyway let's find the space in this box let's cut this bad boy open you see the massive HP logo on the side there I'm just gonna cut this tape across the top Put it on top like this. Give me a second, I'm gonna have to try and do this without you guys seeing. I'm pretty sure you know, all know how to cut sellotape off of a box. If not, then you probably need to go to school. Um, you probably get caught in there at some point. But, uh, one more bit of sellotape. Damn you, sellotape, get in. Right, we are in the box and as you can see, we can see the laptop. I'm going to start off then. Let's pull this stuff out. So, we have a set of instructions. Um, I think a majority of this is basically Windows 8 and how to use a mouse and keyboard, which I think is fairly simple. Um, it says about touchscreen gestures and things like that. This one isn't actually a touchscreen, but that's the laptop there. There's little pictures, I mean, I, I'm not going to read them because I know how to turn on a computer and use a computer, quite frankly. So they can, they can go on the floor. Right, next thing. Got this funny little packet in the corner here. So, right, got the charging lead and the other half of the charging cable. I think this is just a standard universal, yeah, it's just standard universal cabling thing. Not going to concentrate on that too much. That's the adapter plug into the mains of the UK. And we've got the battery itself is actually not in the computer for some reason. All it says is just Hewlett Packard on the side of it there. If you can see it, focus please, Mr. Webcam. Yeah, it just says Hewlett Packard and some information and barcode and stuff on it. Um, let's pop this over here safe. Right, anything else in that little tube? It doesn't appear to be. Right, we've got some more instructions on how to use Windows. I don't think there's a lot else in here, to be honest. Just some things on how to use stuffs. Let's get this open. Um, don't need that. That's all the numbers and technical support. Um, right, basically. I mean, this is pretty good for people who've never used Windows beforehand because it kind of shows you how to use it all and what you got to do. Um, so basically, if you haven't used Windows, this will be ideal for you. So that's all good. And then, I think that's everything. So let's pull out the actual laptop. There we go. I went for the silver one of this just because I thought it looks a little bit smarter and it should be quite nice. Now, we've got some funny little, funny little black things on the end of it quite a nice shape actually it's quite light it's not too it's not particularly heavy um see now just from the packaging that it's quite a nice kind of silvery color you can see um i mean it's not too bad i mean it shouldn't scratch too easily i mean the silver i would have preferred a black one um just because of the scratches um but at the end of the day that doesn't really matter um let me do an actual hp sellotape here they're making custom sellotape now that's quite interesting. Right, let's just get into it. Got Windows 8 sticker on the back of it. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. We've obviously got the cover on the top of it, which is okay. Let's just open this bad boy up. Got this little bit of felt covering it up. And there we are. Now I think that that looks, there you, you can see us in the, woo, like screenception. But I honestly think, is quite a nice looking laptop so we've got uh, dual graphics cards in this um, it's obviously just a standard laptop keyboard um, with an extra number pad on the side of it um, this does have the the uh, HD beat sound in it um, so that should be quite good um, 
yeah, let's grab the battery. I don't imagine they have charged it up, but it's worth a shot. So let me let me give this a go. The battery literally does just slide into it like that. Let's open it back up. It's quite a large laptop, even though it is a, only a, a 15 inch. Um, it is quite big. I mean, the screen's 1080p. Um, so, I mean, it's a decent screen. It's not the biggest. There are 17 inch versions of it available. Um, however, I think it's probably about the right size for this. Does it turn on? And we're up and we're live. It should take a little bit longer the first time to uh, turn on. Um, oh, there we go. We're on. Get rid of this little bit of felt. It's actually not a, not a bad idea. I honestly might just keep this for a minute. Just 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 to cover it up when it's in transit. There we go. We've got the HP logo. And I'll be back with you when it boots up. Okay, so now the computer is on, I can tell you that I actually got it wrong. Um, this, I didn't want to go for one of the very, very bottom end. Um, so I kind of went for a higher up model. Um, I read the box and it's got a couple more details on. Let me go to the side. So, yeah, the screen is 15.6 inch and it's an LED and it's an LED dis uh, display. So that means that all of the pictures will be clear and concise. It's got a terabyte hard drive inside of it. Um, it's got eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Um, it's obviously got wireless, it's got DVD drive, and then it's got quad-core A10 processor with the Radeon graphics included. So this is in fact the brand new AMD A10 APU, not a CPU or GPU, it's an APU, so, so they're both mixed in together. Um, and it's got Windows 8.1 on it. Um, it also has two USB 3 ports and one USB 2. Um, and obviously it's quite a smart looking laptop, obviously. I had to get it plugged in because it died on the first time, so obviously don't give you enough uh, ba uh, battery life in order to fully use it. But this is kind of the general look of it. It's a very, very smart looking laptop. Shouldn't get scratched too easily. I've tried to just have the back. It's not kind of a metallic thing. It's just, it's literally just plastic, although it is prone to a fair amount of fingerprints on the back. Um, but apart from that, it's got all the standard Windows 8.1 features. Uh, HP do throw a load of junk programs on. I'll show you. They do throw a load of junk, uh, junk uh, programs on that they have, like uh, their Cyberlink um, and the uh, and the uh, HP Help bit. Um, but basically, yeah, you can get models that are cheaper. This one was going for about four hundred pounds uh, in the UK. Um, all in all, I honestly think it's one of the nicest laptops I have seen. Now, well, there's obviously more expensive laptops out there that probably you can get a better quality for um, however I think that it will do just fine if you're looking to work on it basically if you're looking to just work on this laptop or do college work or do kind of anything except for gaming I'd say that's the only thing it's probably not going to be any any good at even though it's got 8 gigs of RAM um, it I'm going to try it and I'll do another review I believe, um, but I'm pretty sure it won't be for gaming so if you're trying to buy a gaming laptop, it probably isn't the one for you, you probably need to get a model that's a little bit more expensive. Um, but for the everyday user, for the businessman, for whoever wants to use it for work or school, it is ideal, it's quick, it's quick turn on, obviously the first time it takes about 6 years to turn on, um, just because you've got to go through all of the Windows uh, updates and the settings. Um, but you can, if you have another Windows 8 PC, you can copy all of the settings across to this. Um, so you get your apps, you get your emails there, straight over and onto this new PC. Um, so, so it makes it a lot simpler for you. Um, they automatically update it to Windows 8.1, so you don't have to faff about having 8 and having to go onto the desktop or go onto the Windows Store and kind of sorting that out. Um, all in all, yes, yeah, it's been a really, really good uh, a good laptop, and I think I would recommend this for a lot of people. So all in all, I probably would recommend this for the majority of people. I'd say if you're a heavy gamer, you're better off getting a PC or a console. That's probably the kind of general gist of it. Um, HP do do a lot in order to help you to kind of work out how Windows 8 works if you've never used it before. Um, there are a couple of guides, and they've got a con a contact support on it. Um, it is a quick laptop. It's very, very quick. Um, but yeah, for personally for my use, it's going to be perfect for work. Um, probably not doing too much. Won't be rendering videos or gaming on it at all. 
Um, it's literally just going to be there for work so I can keep things kind of separate. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this, a like rating would be muchly appreciated. This is the first review I've ever, or unboxing that I've ever done. Um, so if you could smash the like button, that would be awesome and I'll catch you all later on.